Good morning, Frank. I want to say good morning to the good people. The good people. Say good morning. <laughs> Just pet me. That's all I want. Do you smell the bacon? So I'm the Baconator, like I was telling you in yesterday's video. But I'm waiting to uh, start at the perfect time so that they're the perfect temperature. Just done perfectly by the time we're done this perfect breakfast. What's up with you and the word perfect today? Look at those perfect peppers. Right? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Nice. I'm a poet. I made that up myself. I can't do that in the morning. Oh no, I'm gonna get sued for copyright, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Oh well. Oh, YouTube. That's fine. <laughs> We got the hash browns. We got the, the best part, the main course right here. That's, that's the breakfast. What else do we have? We're on the peppers. Is there a toast or something else I should get ready? You can have toast if you want. I'm not gonna have any. I can have toast if I want. I have wife's permission. Do we have bread? No. We have to make the bread. You're gonna have to make the bread first? <laughs> here we go. You could probably start the mm. bacon up. You sure? Yeah, well, because I like mine nice and crispy, so you're going to have to put mine in first. Is it bacon time? It's bacon time. It's bacon time. It's bacon time. Bacon. Bacon and hash browns and bacon. You smell it? Am I making you hungry yet? Oh, yes. Cheesy toast, the main course, and eggs, coffee, and this is the way she likes her bacon. What is that? I like it to be brittle and break apart. That's the way she likes it, seriously. That's okay. A lot of people like it that way. I just like it to be nice and chewy. So I'll have some oink in it. Right? So we're gonna finish the movie that we were watching yesterday. Uh, what movie is it again? Uh, City of Bones. City of Bones. Mortal it's actually a really good movie. It's just kind of long. So we were watching it in bed yesterday and we fell asleep. So I decided to turn it off. So we'll finish it today. We finished two and a half whole movies yesterday, guys. That's a record for Trekker Josh. We're hardcore. It's not a record for me. I like my movies. Excuse me, sir. Did you even see him there? Yeah. <laughs> He's taking up your whole couch. It's okay. I can squeeze into that little spot. You're cute. I can't even kick you off. Here you're you go. Cute. Here's your food. Why, thank you. You're very welcome. We're probably going to need some, some sporks. I had a spork somewhere. Right there. One for me. There you go. You're so kind. You don't want it? Fine, it's mine. No, it's not good enough for me. So I fixed our garage furnace. There it is, you hear that? The fan just kicked on. The electric motor that spins the blower fan in there uh, quit working, it died out. There's a couple old ones there as well uh, that have obviously died out in the past years. I gotta throw those out yet. Those aren't from us, it's from previous owners. But it died out, I bought a new electric motor on Amazon. It was $70 off American Amazon. On Canadian Amazon, it was over 300. Nuts. Even with the exchange rate, still nuts. But blowing nice warm air in here again, so my poor baby can stay warm and have all the snow melt off her. So tonight we're going to a, a painting night. I'm gonna test out my, uh, my talents. <laughs> It's a paint night, it's a fundraiser for my cousin Felicia, uh, who's suffering right now from, I think, seven different strains of Lyme disease. So the whole family has come together and has set up this fundraiser to help her. Because uh, in Canada, treatment for Lyme disease is not covered under healthcare. And in order to get treatment, it's very, very expensive. I know all of you Americans can relate. Uh, you can relate even more than most of us can because all of your healthcare is very expensive from what I've heard. I mean, I've never had to get healthcare there. And when I do travel down to the US, I still have health insurance uh, through my work. So wherever I go, I'm still covered. 
but uh, it's it's very difficult to uh, watch someone who's suffering with Lyme disease. I don't know if you guys know anyone who is as well. I don't know too much about it right now, but I'm going to learn a little bit more about it tonight and uh, go and try my hand at painting <laughs> for a fundraiser. So it should be fun. Britt's going to be there too. We need to take both vehicles though because uh, after paint night I'm going to the gym and she's got to go and do her own thing yet and then we'll come home later on after that. But she's already on the way and we got to meet her there. We're going to drop off my pickup at the France Motor Inn where this is fundraiser is going to take place. So we're going to jump in her terrain and go do some grocery shopping yet. So yeah, grocery shopping. I'm totally not procrastinating and that's totally not my wife asking me, are you coming? Where are you? Totally not procrastinating. I love grocery shopping. Doesn't everybody? Excuse your elbow. Gotta get out my uh, trusty Superstore loony for the carts. So exciting. Grocery shopping. I'm, I'm bursting with excitement. Is it sad that I like grocery shopping? <sighs> I'm such a wife. <laughs> well, at least you have a loony for their carts because Superstore is one of those stores that you have to actually put a loony in to get the cart. But that makes everybody bring their carts back so that they're not dinging all the vehicles, as Britt says. Yeah, it's a, it's a big positive, I feel. I feel that everybody should do that. I just never carry ch change with me, so. But... No, he just puts them into peanut butter jars and forgets about them. Yep. <laughs> One day I'm going to have like thousands of dollars saved up. <laughs> and change. Whenever I come home with change, I always put it away into like this jar in the closet. So we apologize to the bank teller in the future that has to deal with us. <laughs> well. Let's do it, babe. We're at the real Canadian Superstore. Let's do this. This is sort of like Canadian Walmart. We've got about a half hour before we got to get our butts in gear to paint night. Let's do it. I'll meet you guys at paint night. Here we go. We're a little late, but hey, it wouldn't be us if we were on time. Oh, I was driving, so it wouldn't be me. They're expecting us late, I'm sure. supposed to be a moon. We got a very nice moon. So this is what I've got so far. There's gonna be an owl sitting on this branch yet in front of the moon. We can and go up there and show them what it's gonna look like if they have the sample out. Sure, yeah. Yeah, they do, it's over there still, the sample. It's like this, this is Brit's here. She did hers opposite from mine, so they could maybe like hang nearby each other, hang together, sort of reaching towards each other or reaching away from each other. This is so good. So good. Having fun? Yes. Let's see yours. Very nice. You see all the arrows, but I still love it. There's roses over there. Nice. I'm gonna get up and go and look at this. Ugh. This is my sister. It's my sister Cheryl. This is my sister Rose. She's the one who had that accident recently. You're doing great. Yeah. Yep. Making a good recovery. She got another Corolla, just like that one, except it's a blue one this time, right? Yeah. Kept me alive. Mhm. Mm yep. And my mom down there. Sorry, Cheryl. That's okay. It's getting right in your face here. <laughs> it's for the vlog. <floor. laughs> Very nice. My first bubble. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is my finished product. <laughs> Bit of a scruffy trucker out. Sorry, I'm like so. Oh, this is. Yeah. If you could 
secrets. That looks great. Yeah. 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 Are you guys ready? Mine too. Oh, it's so cold. How cold is it out here? It's only minus 15. It sure feels like it's a lot colder than that. So we just finished. It was a lot of fun. So like I was saying before, this was a fundraiser for my cousin Felicia. I'll leave all the information about it down below in the description of this video. Uh, I can't imagine how difficult it must be uh, struggling with a disease like that. And I don't know a lot about it, so I can't really speak out on it and uh, let you guys know everything that's involved with it. But I'll leave the links to it down below in the description of this video. If you guys feel like it, you guys can go check it out. And uh, if you know anybody else who's struggling with Lyme disease, uh, it's no joke, it's it's some serious stuff. So I'm gonna head to the gym real quick here now that our paint session's done. I don't know if Britt's gonna hang up those pictures. She went home already. I'm gonna quickly go for a quick run and then see where we'll hang those paintings up. It actually turned out pretty well, I think. Mine sort of turned into like this shaggy little trucker owl and Brits was this nice little feminine owl, this nice little pretty tree she was in. So I'm gonna hang it up side by side somewhere, husband and wife, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys when I get home though. Slowly but surely our walls are filling up. This is the first one that Brit did. She painted that herself. And the second one was actually this rooster over here, right? Yeah. This is the second one. I like the feather. He's not so keen on the face, but that's how it was done in the class. Britt painted that one next. And then third, she did this gorgeous sunset one that she did just yesterday, right? Yeah, just last night. Wow, it seems like so long ago already. She did this one yesterday. And then tonight, we both did these ones. So there's Brits on the left and mine. They're sort of looking at each other. They're in love. They're in love. They're gonna make little baby owls. Scruffy old guy over here. Hi. Hi. Give me a smoke. <laughs> I think it looks really good. And Britt got all the colors to match her theme in the house too. All these teal colors. She's really good with colors like that. And I'm not. Notice how all those like these little things all match. Even to this picture frame over here. Everything that was all planned out. She thought of all that. It's one of my favorite colors. Works out great. <laughs> Who's under the blanket here? going on over here? There's someone under there. It's moving. <laughs> Chevy, you're gonna, st you're gonna step on him. How about you come down here? Frank. No, He's no. In my grill. Frank, what are you doing under there? Oh. Chevy, don't step on him. You don't even know he's there. You haven't even looked down. Brit's working into the night here. Just transferring files over so I don't forget later. Makes it easier for when I'm in the mood to actually edit my vlog. Mm -hmm. Look away, you can't see the password. Oh yeah. Look away. <laughs> so anyways, uh, she made a vlog on her channel as well. If you're interested in seeing that, the link to her channel is always in the description of every one of my videos. You can just go down below, click the little arrow down, and uh, you'll see all the links to all my social media and all her social media. Hey! Vlogging here, guys. Calm down, you rowdies. So thanks for watching today. Tomorrow, I believe, we'll be back on the road. I haven't told you yet, have I? I did get in touch with the shop yesterday, or today. That was today, right? Yep. I got in touch with them today, and they figured out the oil leak. That should be fixed. Uh, they fixed my bunk heater so I don't have to idle it so much anymore. I can turn the truck off a lot more often, keep the cab warm. Uh, that'll save me a lot of money and fuel. I'll probably pay for this whole repair job in just a few months. And also, uh, what else were they doing? Windshield. And the windshield. They replaced that windshield for me. So I should be able to pick it up tomorrow. And I have a load waiting for me of lumber that's taking me down to Clara City, Minnesota. 
And then we're going over to Owatonna, picking up a load of glass. We're going to come home for a day. And then we're going to continue west out to Surrey, British Columbia and deliver those uh, next week sometime. I think i got to be there for Wednesday. Thanks for tagging along with us today on this home time. It's been a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow.